Hey, what's up guys? So today I wanted to touch base with you a little bit. It's been a few months since uh, last time I posted anything about lighting, video lighting for your mobile photography and videography. That being said, I'm going to reiterate the fact that lighting is probably the most crucial part of any of your photography and filmmaking. Now with that being said, I'm going to touch base just on a couple things, just a couple things. It's going to be a quick, short and sweet video in regards to lighting and should you spend the money on certain ones. Now I went ahead and bit the bullet out of my own pocket. This video, I want to just start this off and saying this is not sponsored by any company, not by Aperture, not by LumQ or Samchin, but if you recall back, I did a video like highlighting all three of these lights the loom q panel pro which i'm using now which is my go-to by far my favorite still it okay the aperture mc right and then what i'm lighting with lighting with right now which is a samson now first and foremost i'm going to say this one is a fail it's a hundred dollar fail right after five uses this thing crapped out on me for no reason I didn't bang it around, I kept it inside this case, and as a matter of fact, I kept it inside the silicone case to keep everything protected. I took it on, took on little adventures with me, kayaking, it didn't get wet, nothing like that happened. The thing just freaked out on me. Um, it won't hold charge, and yeah. I also made the mistake by ordering off of Amazon instead of going directly through the Aperture website where I'm sure they would have probably sent me a free one, or a replacement or whatever but I did contact Amazon seller and what happened was and by the way I'm taking that affiliate link off of my description so because like I do not endorse them at all right simply because of this reason they want me to put a YouTube video out showing how it doesn't work here it is um, I don't think they realize what they asked for because I do have an audience uh, just like you do and so anyways yeah if you want to get this one as a little stocking stuff or gift uh, for the videographer or a filmmaker in your family or for even yourself if you're sitting at home alone with the dog on Christmas whatever the case may be do not drop that hundred dollars on the Aperture MC that's going to leave you high and dry and if you do any sort of low light photography or filmmaking what you need is a light that's going to work for you now this is the Loom Cube Panel Pro you just saw how it works first thing in the morning this is my go-to rig now Complete disclaimer, this is one that I had before. It also quit on me. However, all I did, simple email to the company, hey, or no, actually it wasn't even an email, it was a Facebook messenger message randomly, be like, hey, uh, this thing quit. Like I, don't, like, I don't know why, for no reason, it just stopped working. And they're like, oh, okay. But the light itself didn't stop working, the display stopped working okay so I couldn't see what levels I was doing so if I want to keep the same white balance and all of my shots like that was not possible really two days later two days I get a shipment notification I didn't even ask for a replacement like all they did was like hey you know sorry that happened and uh, they, they they didn't do anything other than probably look up my email address on their own and they're like oh okay here's will here's will Beck like my Facebook says William Beck right there they probably looked me up because I get similar to my email and yeah guess what two days later brand new one at the door um, no questions asked none none whatsoever um, after I did get it they did ask me to go ahead and send um, some sort of video um, in which I did because I told them that I, I had video and I can show them that like it just stopped working and but anyways um, piece of advice guys the loom cube panel pro if you've got somebody in your family that you want to stick this in a stocking they're gonna flip over it they're absolutely gonna flip over it so yeah aperture MC forget about it this is this would probably be a good fishing weight not really because you know the whole lithium thing but yeah this this like severely disappointed severely because a lot of your big-time youtubers um, like Peter McKinnon, um, Matty Hapoya, um, Peter Lingren, 
like they're all using these aperture mcs matter of fact there was a video of peter mckinnon uh, finding one of these because they're magnetized right i, I like that option also uh, there's a video of him actually uh, pulling this out from underneath the truck and it firing it up working just fine and everything else dude that that's a hunk of garbage all right so don't fall for that clickbait anyways guys thanks for watching if you found any sort of value make sure you smash that like button it costs you nothing it does the channel everything also smash the subscribe button and hit all notifications on the bell